So welcome to this quick video tutorial of a really helpful screen casting or screen recording tip that I actually picked up from a colleague of mine, Tom Driscoll, the other day in a webinar that he was running. So the idea is that you can, when you're using Google Slides or PowerPoint or Keynote or any kind of uh, presentation tool and you'd like to create a screencast, you create some visual navigation across the bottom of the slides. And I'll kind of demonstrate the whole process here. So I'm just in a set of Google Slides. And in my setup process, you can see right here, I'm just adding a little um, block down to the bottom of the slides, and that block represents concept one. So that's the first thing I do. Then what I'll do after that is I'll just copy and paste that block so it's the same visual across the bottom of the slides. So as students are navigating, they're gonna have a little bit of a visual cue in terms of where they are on the video. Now the next process here is I'll do some color coding. So as you can see here, so as you can see here across the bottom of the slides, I've decided that red will be my active color and blue will be my inactive color. So as I'm working through my slides and I'm making my screen recording, if the students want to jump ahead and navigate, they'll know right across the bottom really clearly, like this is the concept that's being discussed. And you know, I have active concept and inactive concept. You can put the name of the concept, um, the idea that you're explaining, the topic, whatever it is, but just make sure you have that really clear color coding dis distinction. So now when I begin the recording process, what I can do is just change the color as I'm working through the video. So as I'm talking about concept one and I'm creating my screen recording, I will have kind of set my slides up ahead of time to make this slide red on that navigation and then the concept is there. And then ahead of time, I'll go through to concept two and three and four and make that little visual cue across the bottom the live and active concept. So now the benefit to your students, which I think this is really nice, is now when they're watching your video at every time they have that visual cue across the bottom. And if for any reason, say example, they want to jump ahead, they can now quickly navigate the video upon playback and they know exactly where they are. So if they're really comfortable with concept one, two, and three, they can jump right to concept four, or if they need to review concept two and they just drag that playhead on YouTube or in a video that you share through Google Drive and Google Classroom, the navigation becomes super easy. So this is what it's going to look like. So imagine that I'm providing this instruction and we're looking at concept number one and I'm talking through concept number one and you're watching this video um, on my YouTube channel, for example, and then I'm done talking about that and I jump to concept number two. So you can see here that I've just kind of set my slides up ahead of time. I've changed the background color on the box, made sure the text is changed to active, but you can have anything you want there. So I'm talking about concept two, jumping ahead to concept three, and again, that visual cue. So what all you'd really have to do is go through your existing content and build in that little visual navigation bar. And again, that's just by inserting shapes on the bottom and then deciding your active and inactive color. And then the very last one, Active Concept 4. So now what you're able to do, like I mentioned earlier, is you can navigate through the slides and know exactly where you are. So that was it, a really helpful screencasting tip. Again, I got this idea from uh, my colleague at EdTech teacher, Tom Driscoll. I hope it can add some quality to your screen recordings and your instructional video, and I, help it, I hope it helps your students kind of navigate the content you're sharing with them. So good luck, and let me know how it works out.